What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Hellboy, and I'm back at it with another banger. Today, I'm going to be talking about Hellcats. I'm going to go down to the dealership. I'm going to talk about all of these markups on these cars. I'm going to talk about what your best option is to approach buying a Hellcat uh, used versus new and I wanted to clear something up somebody asked me why I go by the name Hellboy and I go by the name Hellboy because my car the charger right here is themed Hellboy as you can see in the stripes it says Hellboy and under the hood is hydro dipped and clear coated as Hellboy and my Durango here is themed storm so everything related to the storm you'll see under the hood is related to storm i am vp of 909 mopars so here you go so you can see the badging and everything but i wanted to go ahead and say that put that out there i hope everyone's having a good day um if you don't please check out my youtube if you're watching it on my youtube i appreciate you please like comment and subscribe it's your boy hellboy and let's get it all right everybody i am in the 2023 hellcat durango for everyone that doesn't know or is confused dodge never announced the durango as a last call so last call pertains to dodge chargers and dodge challengers narrow and wide body they came out with specific colors that were discontinued they bought them back um, so people can uh, get classic colors as well as bringing out the jailbreak as a trim instead of a model so you could customize seats seat belts rims um, everything pretty much was uh, exchangeable from a 717 horsepower a hellcat engine to a 807 horsepower engine jailbreak rims standard rims um upgraded packages you can basically build it how you wanted to build it now i wanted to break down how long i've been in the mopar game uh, my first uh performance car that i thought i was doing something with uh was uh, back in 2011 I had a SS Monte Carlo that I thought was fast um, it was a horrible V8 front wheel drive two door uh, Monte Carlo it was um, cool to me uh, I got out of the military driving that car uh, that car got stolen my first day back in LA out of the military that was my welcome home uh, back to LA uh, gift the streets gave to me uh, woke me up let me know that uh, I shouldn't get uh, attached to things like that and everything but I graduated I had a lot of cars along the way you know but I contemplated going 5.7. I had a Lexus before. Um, I went in uh, to go uh, buy a 5.7 uh, Hemi Charger. When I got there, I saw the first generation of this new body with the hood scoop scat pack. As soon as I saw it, I was like, what's that? They were like, oh, I thought you had an appointment to see um, the 5.7. I was like, that appointment is 
hereby forfeited. I need to see what this scat pack thing is about. You know, so I I bought the scat pack that day. Uh, I had the scat pack for four years. A lot of the people that follow me on IG or um, Facebook, they know of my scat pack. Um, I had it all done up with the lights, hydro dipped, clear coated, everything was done up nice. And the car's nickname was Behave. I really, I really love that car. Um, I graduated from the Scat Pack to the Hellcat Wide Body, as you saw in the garage. Uh, Hellboy. Um, that was definitely a game changer for me, going from a Scat Pack to a Hellcat. Um, if that's something that you are inspired to do or something you want to do, it wouldn't be something you would regret. Um, I had a 392 uh, Durango SRT and um, I upgraded uh, to a Hellcat Durango 2023. That's what brings us here today. So everyone out here that's trying to get into the Hellcat game or they're considering the Hellcat game, if you're not worried about trying to be a collector and you're going to actually drive the car and everything, it makes no sense to go in a dealership paying 30, 25, 20,000 dollar markups crazy markups just to acquire one of these vehicles if you're going to drive it the people that should be paying that kind of money are the ones that are going to wrap it up and put it in a warehouse on a shelf and sell it later on in life as a collector item but if you're going to drive the car the best deals right now out here are going to get a car with low miles like a 2021 you can even find 2022s right now that are used with under 5k miles and they're 80,000 for a red eye 797 horsepower you are way better than a stock Hellcat okay uh, you have uh, all of the features that it comes with because the majority of the red eyes that are 22 uh, from 2022, they were all ordered fully loaded. Now, when the jailbreak came out for 2022, everyone was like, oh, I want the 807 horsepower. I don't have the money to spend the extra. So they weren't putting sunroofs on it. They weren't getting a uh, full leather interior. They weren't they weren't getting everything. They had like the Alcantara suede type interior. They had no sunroof. They got basic rims, stuff like that. So you'll find gel brakes from 2022 that have the horsepower, but do not have the features like the seats and all that stuff. Okay. So bare basic, everything, just the motor that they wanted. So uh, the new gel brakes, they're not all 807s and it's a misleading information if you go to the dealership now the horsepower is not posted in the sticker so you actually have to get in the car with the car running and look through the horsepower page go to the performance pages and look at the horsepower rating if you don't do that it's no telling what it is because the gel brakes say gel brake on the dash and uh if you don't open the hood and look at the supercharger and look at the block and look at all of that stuff, it, I mean, they're going to try to sell it to you as an 807 Red Eye. That's what they're going to try to do. And they're going to mark it up. Like, it makes no sense to buy a 717 horsepower Hellcat jailbreak for $130,000. You are on crack if that's what you're out here doing 
and you're making it harder for other people to come in the dealership and look at the dealer and tell them you're crazy because they know someone is going to come and pay that stupid price. That's my standing on it. So basically, if you're one of the people that are out there spending $130,000 on a basic Hellcat, uh, you need to be uh, kung fu kicked in the chest. That's what you need to be. You need to be assaulted. Anyway, um, let's get back to what I was talking about. So if you call the dealerships right now, you look at their pages and you call them based off their inventory and you see a red eye Hellcat that's a 2022, you will get the best deal on that car. Everyone is paying crazy amounts of money for 2023 last call vehicles. I see um, 1320s, uh, swingers, shakers, 80,000, 78,000. I'm like, for a scat pack? Y'all gotta be joking. But no, they're dead serious and people are buying them. If you get on the phone and you're interested in one of these cars, do not approach the dealer without confirming what their markup is or if they have one or are they negotiable. Don't even waste your time going up there. I know a dealership up here near my house. Um, the sales team is great. Great guys. They're not trying to break your arm. When you go in there, they will, if they see that your credit is good, they see that your in interest is genuine and you're not just trying to haggle to haggle, they will take away that markup and sell you the car at MSRP because they do make money for making the sale without the MSRP. It's not the salesman asking for the markup. It's the dealership. That's very important to know. Once you realize that the salesman just wants to make a sale to get commission so he can pay his bills and stuff, he's an employee at the end of the day. He does not own the cars. The dealership owns the car. He's trying to make a living. He's not going to fight you tooth and nail for that markup unless he's not allowed to let you leave without a markup. Some of the dealers, they're like, these cars do not move without a markup. And they have the inventory and the money to let them sit. Smaller dealerships that move in smaller quantities they, they don't have the ability to sit on a car for two, three months because they're trying to get $25,000, $30,000 markups. I have a team over here. I want you guys to meet them. They've closed a lot of deals with close friends and family based off of, you know, previous relationships with them. They were straight up. They made deals with me and it was... A good experience when you come across by car buying is a is a headache when you come across a team that's willing to work with you and make it happen so that both sides are uh, happy with the deal everyone uh, is satisfied you're happy with the, the product that you purchased and the salesman made some money so he can go home and feed his family that is a good deal when I see that in people, I will put forward your name when someone is asking about it. I'll make sure that I, I boost you and put your information out there on the front lines because I know that you're going to treat them right. You treat people right, people remember you. It's very important. So, um, Eli, Christian down here at Victorville Motors are the truth. If they cannot make a deal for you, you cannot find a deal. That's as simple as that. If they can't make the deal happen, then no deal exists. 
and I stand on that. I stand on it. Um, Bye, bitch. Eight oh seven jailbreak. She bought two cars from them last week because of this. Now, a lot of the dealers that kind of got hip to you calling in, asking for that type of information. Uh, there's a little tiptoe around it because of uh, uh, legal reasons. A lot of these markups are illegal. Depending on what state you're in, a lot of them are illegal. So a lot of them won't do the whole markup talk on the phone with you. They'll oh, just come in and I'll give you the best deal. I'll take care of you. I'll do this. Usually taking care of somebody in the dealership world is I'm finna fuck you. That's what it means. Um, I really, I really be trying not to uh, have YouTube strike my videos and stuff uh, with uh, music in the background and uh, excessive cursing and stuff like that. But sometimes you got, you got to say some stuff. You know, it's necessary because that's what it is. Now, I'm about to pull up to the dealership. I'm going to get some videos of the inventory. Uh, I'm going to uh, see if Eli is available and Christian to do a video and uh, tell you guys about more about them and what they bring to the table so that you guys can come up and make a deal with them if that's what you guys are interested in doing. It's your boy Hellboy, back with another banger. Stay tuned. Hey, I don't even know about that ball today. That's it. That's why I made it. 2021 Hellcat Durango here. Victorville Dodge, come see Christian. It's in the 80s, baby. 2021. And here comes that big TRX, big boy. Come check it out. They got the cats out here. You gotta come see Christian. Another wide body over there. Everything's negotiable. Just don't come with the bullshit. If you stand around shit, you gotta deal with the flies. <laughs> right? Huh? <laughs> Cats, baby. sunroof it has alcantara suede interior uh, it is a 2021 and they're asking 80,000 I think that's a good deal 80,000 for a 2021 Hellcat Durango you don't have a sunroof you don't have leather interior you have alcantara but you have everything else uh, they have a TRX uh, they're asking 84 um, that one is a 2021 as well, and they have a 2020 wide body Hellcat. Um, it's red, so they have that as well. So they only have three cats left. So everyone that is wasting your time going up, dealing with Tobin, dealing with all of these other people that 
are asking 40k over this is why you shop for the best deals you go where they're willing to make a deal with you and that's where you spend your money I advise you to follow uh, Christian and Eli on Instagram Victorville Dodge Victorville Motors they post everything that they get on their IG so if you're looking and you see it pop up over there they're not going to treat it like you know it's the last uh, Hellcat in the world you can get a good deal the day it gets there, the same deal that you'll get the day that it's been there for two or three weeks. They don't bullshit around about the pricing. So, uh, get at them. Pay attention to what they got if you're shopping or you're in the market. I call up to Tobin. As soon as I ask them about their markups... Uh, they said they put me on hold and then the call dropped. So I know they're dealing. Stand down, stand down, stand down. I know that they're dealing with that call that dude did on them and um, exposed them for asking. 40k markup on a regular Hellcat. But that's how they get down. Anyway, it's your boy Hellboy. Um, I'll get at you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Over and out.